in this quick tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a landing page that basically resizes to fit the person's browser, regardless of the browser height or width. Um, and I, I often see this for, for instance, launch pages where there isn't a lot of information uh, and a person just wants like a big background image and they don't want a user to be able to scroll. So this is called 100% vertical height of the viewport. Let's jump in and have a look. So here is an example. And you can see I can't scroll. Okay, even if I pull this up, still can't scroll. And width-wise as well, you'll see the image will change shape. Still can't scroll. So this is just 100% of the user's viewport. So regardless of the browser shape. Let's explore how we can do this. All right, so I have a page. It's 1280 by 600 set to a row, set to a row. And I'm making a short just to prove the point that, you know, it can stretch as vertically as we need, as we need it to. So now I'm going to grab a group, drop it on the page. This is going to be my group parent, and this is where we will upload the image to. So let's go grab that image and whack it in as a background. All right, there's the image there. Now, I need it to stretch top to bottom. So I'm going to go over here to vertical alignment and choose vertical stretch. Vertical stretch. I'm going to change the container layout to a row because I need control over the X and Y axis. Boom, you can see it's gone top to bottom. Now it needs to go left to right, side to side, so uncheck fixed width. And I don't want a min width there. And I don't care about the min height either because we have vertical stretch set on the vertical alignment. For the row, I'm going to choose center align any content within this row. And that should be fine. Now we can add our text content. So actually, let me grab a group, draw on the page, vertical align this in the center, change this to a column. I'm going to uncheck fixed width, and I'm going to say stretch as wide as 960, but no further, please. Don't care about min width. Within here, I'm going to separate the column items with some 40 pixels of row gap. Okay, I'll leave the min height as it is and then remove it later. Let's grab a text element. Let's type the word travel. And I think the style is Noto Serif Display. Let's use regular for that. Make it 100, nice and big. Uh, white in color and just put it in the center. Okay. On the text element itself, whack that in the center. Don't care about the fixed width. It can span edge to edge because it will be on its own row. Don't care about the min height either. I'm going to copy and paste that. Copy, paste. You can see the row gap that was left here. I have some copied text I'll copy in there. All right, I'm just going to set this to, let's say 24 is fine. And some nice line spacing, 1.8. Actually, two would look better here. Two, yeah, that looks good. And then lastly, we just need a button, a white button. Grab a button, say read more. So this could potentially be, be a, a blog post or a single page product post. I'm going to change the background to white with a button and black text. And the size of it, 120 by 60, and whack that in the center. And now that we have the text combined with the row gap, determining the height that we need, I can then remove them in height from the, the group holding this. So this could be called group content. And I guess around this, we should probably have a bit of padding. So let's say 40 all the way around. And when we go down to responsive, looks really good. You can see that the page height is only 600 pixels, but the page height in the preview is actually 960 pixels. So let's just preview what we've done. 
and there you have it everything nicely in the center and regardless of how we regardless of the user's browser the shape or height of it it will always be unscrollable and fill the canvas 100 percent with vertical height and width all right i really love building these little landing pages so um, i hope you had fun i hope you learned something and i'll see you in the next lesson